Oh my fucking god, time for a new vlog. How the fuck are we doing today, guys? Ooh, I haven't seen you guys in a few. I actually been really busy IRL doing a lot of work and shit. Uh, so, therefore, I just really don't feel like getting on RuneScape. <laughs> I have actually been getting on RuneScape the past couple nights. I did Penguins. Um, was on RuneScape for the past few days for about like an hour and a half. Really didn't achieve very much except, uh, doing some clan shit. Uh, fucking running around farming and fletching my balls off. Yeah, that's basically pretty much about it. But anyways, this weekend, I actually... Is going to be a questing weekend for me. Because I really don't have anything to do this weekend. Uh, not to mention there's no really good movies out there and shit. So, therefore... Oh boy, it's time to basically just play RuneScape for the entire weekend and stay inside with no sunlight. Not to mention it's going to be fucking raining this weekend, which kind of sucks balls. Uh, but then, again, that's, you know, New England area weather. It sucks. Alright, so anyways... Um... A couple days ago, uploaded some videos to my main channel. Uploaded uh, me and Chris's uh, old fucking PKing video and shit. Going to be uploading a fucking shit up video today along with um, a, uh, a newer um, Evolution at Cox video with uh, me and Chris. Uh, then tomorrow, I got some more um, JMod shit to upload. I'm going to be making a lot more videos on J on J uh, J-Mods because they're fucking kind of embarrassing themselves and acting like a little bunch of fucking pansies. You know, for people working for Jagex, they obviously know people video record and screenshot them 24-7. It would be very wise of them not to say retarded and do stupid shit on this game. But then again, that goes to show you the leadership of Jagex is just really, really cocky and probably just really doesn't give a shit. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I have a lot more screenshots and video clips to basically upload of uh, J-Mods basically embarrassing themselves, and it's to the point of kind of harassing people now on this game, or rather just people in my friend's chat, but still. Same fucking goddamn thing. Um, anyways, yeah, that basically pretty much goes for updates and shit. I will be right back, because I need to put a little microwave pizza in the oven. Or it's, 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 it's you, you can put in the oven or microwave. Be right back, goddammit. Alright, today I have returned. Did you guys think I wouldn't return? Anyways, today we're going to be talking about God Swords, and God Swords becoming discontinued items. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up if you really think about it, but can it happen? Will it happen? No. Can it happen? Only in the head of Nightmare RH and all of us combined. Can God Swords go discontinued? Um, that is something that will never fucking happen on this game. What if God Swords went discontinued? Well, there's always a what if, goddammit, because knowing this game and knowing Jagex, what if is something you have to ask for every single goddamn thing out there. What if uh, God Swords rose back up to being 200 mil? What if God Swords became more powerful than chaotic weapons. What if God Swords had the special ability back? What if Armadale God Swords fucking became 1 GP? You know, there's, a, there's always a what if type situation with Evolution and Cox being really, really unstable because it was really, really rushed by Mod Mark and Mod Mark Earhart. Uh, anything is really possible, goddammit. Alright, so, anyways, if God Swords were discontinued from this game, well, it's a no-brainer. Firstly, God Swords would be worth... Huh! Woo! They would skyrocket. Because not only are they a discontinued item, but they can attack people. Now, I saw this video a long-ass time ago. Um, it was actually right when I was fucking, um, started video making and shit. Uh, this one person basically pretty much went PKing with a full inventory of pumpkins and easter eggs. Yeah, that's a whole lot of wasted money. But then again, this was when I started video making, and back then those rare items were worth like fucking two mil each, or maybe even like five, four or five mil each. But then again, a full inventory, that's, that's a lot of moolah. You know, you're talking about, if you have a full fucking inventory that's, uh, that's close, that's well over a hundred mil. Not to mention back then, 100 mil was like fucking worth 2 bill, you know, in current RuneScape. So it's a lot of moolah. Um, 
If God Swords became discontinued, would people still go PKing with them? Absolutely. I, I mean, you would still see people PKing with them. It's just high risking. Maybe. I mean, the only people that would really go PKing with God Swords are the motherfuckers that just have the moolah of the moolah of the moolah in their bula, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, but, anyways, yeah. I mean, it, it is very possible. Uh, I mean, okay, what the fuck am I saying? It's not, po I mean, it's not possible, because then Jagex will have a lot more, you see, Jagex really hate, uh, it's, it's kind of funny, because I really do think that Jagex seriously hates fucking capitalism, because Jagex hates fucking merchanters, uh, they don't like people like me that can just sit in the bank and fucking sell something for one thing, and then buy it back at a lower price, it, you know, I, I seriously don't think they like people like that. Um, just because comments they said in the past and things they have done in the past and shit like that. But, anyways, I, it would add a lot more items to basically be, you know, uh, merchanted. Um, and not to mention, it would just cause a lot more fucking problems. Because now you have a rare item that attacks people. Um, in my personal opinion though, I would say probably most likely 99% of God Swords if, you know, they became uh, a discontinued item, they would be more so kind of like a... kind of like a, um... a fucking... a uh, goddamn outfit item. Kind of like how a party hat, Red Halloween Mask Santa item is a, is a, is a fucking outfit item. A god sword would just be, be like an item that would be like, hey, you know, I have a god sword. Look at this fucking big gigantic dildo. <laughs> Um, now, if God Swords became discontinued, but they were untradeable, yeah, that's that's a different situation right there. If God Swords were discontinued, but they were untradeable, and you could get it back if you fucking lost it from, like, Mr. Dingo in Draenor Village, that would add a whole new level to fucking... Because then everyone would go PKing with a God Sword, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, people go PKing now with a God Sword. Well, not as much as, you know, they used to because they aren't as powerful as other weapons. But you guys basically pretty much get my point. Um, in order for fucking God Swords to become discontinued, that means God Wars would have to really be modified. And I don't really see that happening anytime fucking soon. But, um, it is a good fucking, you know, what-if type question shit. Um, mainly because, well, somebody asked me this in my goddamn clan, uh, my, my clan, uh, like two days ago and shit. And, yeah, that's basically pretty much about it. But otherwise, um, like I said, guys, as for tonight and shit, um, I'd basically be just doing fucking RuneScape in general. Got really nothing else on my goddamn agenda and stuff, uh, for the most part. Uh, going to be uploading those fucking goddamn two, um, videos and shit. Probably most likely my fucking video, fucking shit up video first, then me and Chris will, um, then, uh, uh upload our shit, uh, later on and stuff, uh, in, uh, the goddamn evening. Don't know why I can't talk right now, but, uh, that's, uh, pretty much about it, guys. I missed you. I missed you in the past two days because I was busy and it fucking sucks, but that's really how life goes. Alright guys, right now I'll go to my email address where you have some happy hooba hooba questions for you motherfuckers. Ask not much at who.com and answer to me who's because if you do, you'll disappear from RuneScape forever and ever and ever and ever because you'll be put into a mental insane asylum for drinking too many chocolate low drinks. First hooba hooba question. Hey now, I've been wondering if you, you could tell me some basic essentials for RS video making. I don't have much money to my name, but how do you make your videos look and sound so sexy, professionally done? RS username, uh, the prom Promster, to, it, sh it should be like the Promster, to, or the Primester, well, whatever, goddammit, okay. Um, yes, video making does take some fucking capital, uh, mainly because that's, I mean, when I started video making, I fucking... I, I mean, when I started video making, I had the bare essentials, okay? You can make RuneScape videos using the bare essentials, using a shitty laptop, shitty desktop. You don't really have to fucking, you know, do any of that shit. But if you ever become a YouTube partner and you start making some revenue, it would be really wise to fucking spend that revenue to make your videos look and sound really, really good. Like, for example, buying a $600 camcorder. 
to make your fucking videos look high definition. That is something, fun, you know, it's, it's, it's good because not only does it make my videos look a lot better for you guys, but it's kind of just, it's, it's a lot better. Buying a fucking faster computer, that's a lot better also because when you buy a faster computer, you can render videos a lot quicker and you can render videos in the highest definition. So, does it take money to basically make your videos sound and look really professionally done? Yes and no. I mean, you can buy a shitty little, you know, laptop and desktop. It's just going to take you like three fucking hours to render one video in high definition rather than you buying a better computer and having a better camcorder to already have the clips in high definition for you. It's a little different, goddammit, but um, my suggestion to you is just download Hypercam and basically pretty much start making videos like I did. And people are going to watch your videos no matter what definition they are in. And then later on down the road when you want your videos to look really, really sexy, then you can actually go and buy a nice camcorder and shit like that. Otherwise, guys, let me know in some nasty dear little comments what you motherfuckers are doing this weekend. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in a few and bye.